dear families, friends, clergy, and dear Consulate General of Croatia, Ms. Sanja Lakovic. Welcome to Hrvatska Loza's 37th annual concert. We are thankful for such a wonderful turnout this afternoon and appreciate your support. With today's performance, we are able to preserve our rich Croatian culture, continue celebrating with our new generations. We are also very excited to be having our concert at Resurrection High School this year at this beautiful auditorium. Before we begin with the program, I would like to ask Consulate General of Croatia, Ms. Sanja Lakovic, to come up and say a few words. Dobro veče svima, poštovani i dragi svi ovdje prisutni Hrvatice i Hrvati, dragi gosti. Zadnjih 37 godina svojim je nastupima tamboraško presna skupina Hrvatska loza širila hrvatsku folklornu tradiciju daleko od domovine, njegujući hrvatsku kulturu kroz pjesmu i pres. Tako ste pomogli mnogim polaznicima kao i generacijama Hrvata u inozemstvu da očuvaju vlastitu kulturu i identitet. Posebna mi je čast i zadovoljstvo da u ime Generalnog konzulata Republike Hrvatske u Čikagu i u svoje osobno ime čestitati svim generacijama polaznika Hrvatske loze kao i roditeljima, učiteljima pjesme i presa, voditeljima grupa, članovima odbora i svima koji su uložili mnogo truda i ljubavi u rad ove skupine, te su time ujedno i pridonjeli očuvanju i promicanju hrvatske kulturne baštine. Na svemu postignutom od srca zahvaljujemo, te vam želim da Hrvatska loza i u buduće nastavi biti mjesto oko kojeg će se mlade generacije okupljati, te da svojim izbedbama hrvatskih pjesama i preslova nastavite slaviti domovinu daleko u svijetu, njezin jezik i kulturu, običaje i tradiciju. Svima vam želim svako dobro i uživajte u ovom druženju večeras. Dear distinguished guests, my fellow American Croatians, I am very honored and happy to be with you here today. It's simply wonderful to stand in front of so many happy familiar faces, young Americans of Croatian descent, that still foster the tradition and culture of their forefathers after so many generations in the United States. Each generation has raised its children with the Croatian identity in their hearts, and the fruits of their labor are today visible for all of us to see. I would also like to wish you all an amazing time this afternoon. Thank you. So now, it is my pleasure to introduce our MCs for this afternoon. It's Sylvia Suchets and Tommy Ferenac. Sylvia graduated from Hrvatska Loza in 2013. Sylvia's passion for education led her to Calvin University in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where she earned a Bachelor of Arts degree in elementary education with focuses in math and integrated sciences in 2017. Currently, Sylvia works as a full-time substitute teacher at a middle school in Western Springs. Tommy graduated from Hrvatska Loza in 2009. After graduating from, her, um, from high school, Tommy attended the University of Iowa where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil and Environmental Engineering in 2013. Currently, Tommy works as a project manager for Shakti Engineering. Adding to the list of many Loza marriages, Sylvia and Tommy are also preparing for a new exciting chapter. They will be getting married this May at our home church, Blessed Alozia Stepinac Church. Yeah, very exciting. Very exciting. Um, together, Sylvia and Tommy are deeply connected to promoting and celebrating Croatian culture, and we are thrilled to have them both as our MCs for this afternoon's performance. So let's give a warm welcome to this lovely couple, Sylvia and Tommy.
Dragi Gosti, one more official welcome to this magnificent Croatian folklore concert where we celebrate the rich cultural heritage of this beautiful country. We are honored to be part of Was a Strong Alumni Network and thrilled to be here with you all today. The program for today's concert can be found in the ad book that you should have received upon entering the school. The program is split into two halves with a short intermission. Now without further ado, let's start the show. But first, please stand for the American, Canadian, and Croatian anthems.
Our performing group and alumni Tamburashi will start the show with songs and dances from Mejimurje. This beautiful region is located in northern Croatia between the two large rivers, Mura and Drava. While it's the smallest county in Croatia with only three cities, it boasts of rich cultural heritage. And today we have the pleasure of witnessing their unique and traditional dance form. The dance choreography was done by Maria Fumic Skukan and Olivia Goreta, while the music arrangement was put together by Jelena Zivko, Maya Jambrusic, and Jedinko Priskola.
is always with great pride that we introduce our junior Tambudashi. Our young Tambura musicians have been playing for eight months and are eager to showcase their talent. They have worked hard all year and they sound great. They are under the direction of the talented Sandra Korbar and have been working on three beautiful pieces, Trenya, Kolsko Zvona, and Matza Prede, arranged by Anna Marie Hostichka. Hrvatska Loza is honored to have guest groups perform at our concert this year. Our first guest group is Klups de Peanuts of Chicago from St. Jerome Parish. They will be performing a tambura piece called Tri Turopolska Drmsha, directed by Joseph Riccio and songs and dances from Sisačke Posavine under the direction of Dubravka Ivančić.
performing group Tamburashi will close out the first half of our show with Toya Zemya, arrangement by Goran Hlebets, directed by Sandra Kor Korbar and Anna Maria Kostichka. Although Toya Zemya is not a folklore song, since it was written in 1970 in the wave of the Croatian Spring, it has become a sort of people's song, Narodna Piesma. Vice Vukov popularized it in 1971 at the 17th Zagreb Festival, Zabavnek Glasbe. This song became popular prior to the 90s war for Croatian freedom and awakened the spirit of Croatian renewal. After their performance, we'll have a 15 minute intermission.
graduation is a special moment and a great milestone achievement. Hrvatska Loza is proud to honor and congratulate our 22-23 school year graduates. I would like to call up Marco Barta. Marco is graduating from Deerfield High School, and in the fall, he will be attending Loyola University. Wow. And, uh, and he'll be majoring in um, international business. Congratulations. Our next graduate is Sofia Galanto. Sophia is graduating from Niles West High School and in the fall will be attending Elmhurst University and majoring in nursing. Our next graduate is Anna Planinich. graduating from Niles North High School <laughs> and in the fall she'll be attending Southern Illinois University majoring in ultrasound technology. And our last graduate is Eva Vasil. Eva, Eva is graduating from Regina Dominican High School and in the fall will be attending University of San Diego, majoring in environmental studies and, pol and policies and minoring in business. Everyone in Loza is wishing you the best as you begin your next journey and congratulations graduates. Let's give them one more applause. I'd like to acknowledge a few special people who have worked very hard to prepare for this year's show. I always start off with Teta Maritza. Yes. Teta Maritza is extremely important to Loza. She's in charge of Noshne, and no one knows Noshne better than her. I mean, I think that Loza is always like the best dressed wherever we go. Um, and Teta Maritza is always willing to assist Loza with anything and everything, and that's obviously greatly appreciated. Thank you, Teta Maritza, and everything that you do for us. I'm not really sure she's here, but... Oh, she's just walked in. Let's give her a round of applause to Teta Maritza. She's our rock, yes. Next, I would like to acknowledge our great teachers. I'm going to start off with our dance teachers. Maria Fumic Skukan and Olivia Goretta have been with Loza for many years, and we are lucky to have them. They have done a wonderful job teaching a variety of choreographies to juniors and performing group students. Thank you for your dedication and efforts that you put in throughout the year. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, so next, I'd like to um, invite our new addition, actually. I would like to call Ms. Sandra Korbar and Anna Marie Hostichka. <laughs> Sandra and Anna Marie return this year to Loza. They showcase their dedication to the group and their love for music. Their class teachings had a purpose, and they brought new mythology for music instruction. 
Sandra also scheduled extra practices each month for the performing group, which all their hard work has definitely paid off. Thank you, ladies, for your dedication and efforts that you put throughout the year. I would like to also thank our guest groups. Klub Stepina Chicago. And Hrvatska Prelo from Canada. Uh, Hrvatska Prelo will be performing in the second half. Uh, thank you for participating today. But um, can um, a representative, I got one from Klub Stepina, so I need a representative from Hrvatska Prelo to come up here also to accept a gift and a token of appreciation for participating in our concert this year. Thank you. Looking forward to your performance. Yes. Okay. So thank you. And now I'd like to call up our MCs for today. The second half of our show will begin with our junior Loza dancers. They will be performing songs and dances from Slavonia. A few of our dancers are showcasing new additions to our Noshnia collection from the Pozhiga area.
So just one additional note about the costumes you just saw in that dance. Uh, the black and red pleated skirts date back to the early 1900s. They were hand sewn by the great grandmother of our dance teacher, Olivia Vojvodich Goreta. And a special thank you goes out to Maritza Pavlakovich for restoring these original pieces and bringing them back to life. Now we're excited to welcome back the performing group Tamburashi, who will be playing Grai no Kolo, arranged by Bojo Potocnik and directed by Sandra Korba. Grai no Kolo is a special piece that was dedicated to the legendary Croatian folk musician Anton Mutavjic, also known as Graja from Luzon. Graja was a virtuoso on the violin and played in the Lado Orchestra. Mihil Feric secretly recorded Graja playing this theme, which was later put to paper, and Lado would later record it and call it Graja no Kolo.
Our second guest group is Hervatsko Prelo from Oakville, Canada. We are honored to have Hervatsko Prelo join us today. They will be performing songs and dances of Gradischanski Hervati from the Bergenland region of Austria. During the Turkish invasion, During the Turkish invasion, many Croatians left the regions around the Kupa, Korana, and Una rivers and the region of Primorje. They found safety in the desolate region of Bergenland, Austria, known as Gradišče. Gradišanski Hrvati have managed to preserve their culture and language while strongly influenced by surrounding countries of Hungary, Austria, and Slovakia. The group is under the direction of Kristina Badanyak, an assistant Kata Trogrlić, choreography by Jelko Jergan, and musical arrangement by Branko Cetinjani.
We would like to take a moment to thank all the hardworking individuals who contribute behind the scenes to make Wozel's performances a success. We want to extend a heartfelt thank you to Maritza Plavakovic and all the mummen for preparing, sewing, and organizing the costumes and accessories for Loza performances. We would also like to acknowledge Lyubo Pranic for the sound engineering and staging of tonight's concert. Lyubo has been an integral part of Loza's concerts for many years. Thank you to our amazing Waza alumni Tamburashi who volunteer their time today and year round to supplement our performers with their unwavering dedication and support. Please join us in giving them a round of applause for their invaluable contributions. As our program draws to a close, we invite you to the Croatian Cultural Center for a reception immediately following the concert. Please show your concert ticket stubs for entry into the reception. Buffet dinner is available for purchase. We are excited to have Grupa Tonix from Windsor, Ontario providing musical entertainment tonight. We hope you've enjoyed our show and we look, seeing you, we look forward to seeing you at the Croatian Cultural Center afterwards. Wozla's performing group will be concluding tonight's show with a beautiful showcase of songs and dances from Posavina. The region stretches along the Sava River that flows from west to east, connecting valleys and plains and the transitional regions between the Dinarich Mountains and the Pannonian Plain. The dance was choreographed by Zlatko Hegedush and the music was arranged by Dario Hegedush. The talented dancers will be accompanied by our alumni Tamburashi.
been our great pleasure to have you here with us tonight, celebrating the rich cultural heritage of Croatia through the vibrant music, song, and dance. We thank you for being such a wonderful audience and for your continued support to Hrvatska Loza in preserving and promoting our country's cultural traditions. We hope to see you next year for another concert full of joy, entertainment, and appreciation for our heritage.